All right, so my name is Sinyaka Bryant. I'm with the Malcolm X Grassroots Movement. Um, and I'm also I'm the National Secretary of Malcolm X Grassroots Movement. Um, and so this is the, just to make sure everybody's here for the right workshop, this is the Building Economy from the Left workshop on uh, community-led models based on participatory democracy, solidarity, and equity. All right, so we're all in the right place. <laughs> Solid, okay. So in the Bay Area, there's like a strong, there's a really strong movement towards cooperatives. There's a lot of cooperative businesses, um, a, lot of, a lot of people trying to figure out land trust. Um, we're the site of the first um, land trust in the state. Right? Um, and there's a, there's a lot of small and, and huge enterprises like coexisting. Um, so last year, um, Malcolm X Grassroots Movement and Cooperation Jackson, which is an economic vehicle that we helped to found, um, had a conference where it was called the Jackson Rising Conference. And in this conference, we kind of pulled together a lot of the worker cooperatives in the South, um, as well as some from around the country, um, really trying to figure out what it would take to build up a, a federation of cooperatives to kind of move move away from dependence on you know the enemy economic structure right the move for the grassroots economic independence right. um, and we we're trying to connect that work with the larger work around building solidarity economies uh, really looking at some of the models from Spain for example the Mondragon corporation you know, became the seventh largest corporation in Spain operated by the by folks in the Basque nation um, you know to really provide some economic security for their people right and because of that they were able to buffer a lot of the economic recession um, that happened in Spain so they're not doing as bad right and it's a, and it's a huge network of cooperatives huge it's the seventh largest corporation in all of Spain right um, and so we have our panelists here. I want to um, introduce everybody. Um, so we've got a very good panel coming up. We've got Kana Asari, who's also a member of the Malcolm X Grassroots Movement. Um, Kana is a community business owner, a member of Mal the Malcolm X Grassroots Movement and Cooperation Jackson. Her work is rooted in the principles and practices of unity, self-determination, healing, education, and cooperative economics. She's co-creator and owner of Black Naturals, uh, which provides communities with affordable, quality, chemical-free, all-natural beauty, health, and home wellness products and cons consultation services. She also works at the Healing Kitchen, which is a concept that comes out of many uh, ethnic culinary traditions where kitchens are, aren't solely places where meals are prepared. They're also served as community spaces, prayer circles, as well as um, healing centers for preparing holistic teas, tonics, herbs, and other natural remedies. So it's kind of right here. Um, we have Jessica Gordon Nemhart, who's joining us um, via GoPro, GoToMeeting. Um, so, Dr. Gordon Nebhardt is a political economist specializing in the community ec economic development, wealth inequality, black political economy, popular economic literacy, and community justice. Her research has been focused on community and asset based economic development and de de democratic community economics. <laughs> Cooperative Economics and Worker Ownership, Racial and Economic Wealth Inequality and Wealth Accumulation in Communities of Color, and Alternative econo Urban Economic and Youth Educational Development Strategies. Her future research and policy analyses will connect community-based economic development, asset building, and economic justice strategies with community-based approaches to justice. Dr. Gordon Nemhart is the author of Collective Courage, 
a history of African American cooperative economic thought and practice. Really, really, really good book. It's like required reading. <laughs> right. She is associate professor of community justice and social economic development at the Department of Africana Studies at John Jay College and City University of New York. So welcome, Jessica. All right. We also have Sarah Stevens. Uh, Sarah is a housing cooperatives attorney at the Sustainable Econo Economies Law Center. She coordinates the SELC's policy advocacy, education, and client support for more just and affordable housing. She also leads an effort to create and implement a model city ordinance to incentivize worker cooperatives as an economic development strategy and develops training and resources for worker cooperatives. Sarah's initial interest in economic and housing justice took root while working with squatters in Bangkok, Thailand and organizing for environmental justice in Southern California. During law school at UC Berkeley, Sarah worked on projects focusing on anti-displacement, land use law, and support for immigrant-owned businesses. In addition to her current work at SELC, Sarah also provides pro bono legal services through the East Bay Community Law Center um, for low-income tenants threatened with eviction. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, Sarah. Um, and, then we, and finally, we have Camille, Camille Kerr. Uh, Camille Kerr is, directs the Democracy at Work in this Institute's Worker to Owners Project, a collaboration of leading actors in the worker cooperative field, as well as stakeholders outside the field to drive more conversions to worker ownership. Previously, she worked as the director of research at the National Center for Employee Ownership, launching the organization's outreach initiative and managing its various research projects. Camille speaks frequently about employee ownership and has produced and contributed to publications on a variety of topics related to alternative ownership structures. Camille also serves as the chair of the board of directors for Prospera, which was formerly Wages, the Women's Action to Gain Economic Security. It's a nonprofit dedicated to promoting the economic and social well-being of low-income women through cooperatives, business ownership, through cooperative business ownership. She earned a JD from the University of Cincinnati College of Law where she was an Arthur Russell Morgan Fellow for Human Rights and graduated cum laude. All right, so we're going to get started. We'll start with, with Kana. Um, I just wanted to ask you to speak a little bit towards um, the history of cooperation in Jackson, um, where it came from, um, why, why the Malcolm X grassroots movement um, developed it. You know, share a little bit of that. 